Welcome back, everybody, to Valorant Champions here in Los Angeles. I am your host, Ying Tzu, and I'm joined by Brandon Sideshow on the desk for the final match of the day. It is the Group C winners, Fnatic, taking on Billy Billy. The Wait, team. Billy Billy? Yes, Billy Billy. 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 Bill, not in our G. Billy Billy, the team that absolutely shocked everyone. Uh, Brent, I don't think many people had this in their pickups. I know you guys do uh, no. bra bracketology. But... Oh, yeah. I mean, we're always wrong with bracketology. Yeah. That's just a guarantee I, at this point. I was looking on VLR. There was about 23 people out of 1,000 that had picked Billy Billy to win and had a perfect bracket yeah. so far. It's which is so just ridiculous in terms of the, the level of upsets that we've had as well. I mean, it just, it's got to rank up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about why this was an upset because they went up against NRG and the fashion, uh, Josh, in which they beat NRG, I yeah. think is what impressed everybody. Absolutely. I mean, you, you start out on Lotus, NRG have some good ideas, and yet Bianc, there's the player, IGL, star, absolutely bianked on him. He just <laughs> bianked him left, right, and center. This this, this map was so many moments where he just went crazy. And then on top of that, in the next map, you have YZ with the Judge. He got 42% of his kills on split with a Judge. But I think NRG also fell to pieces a little bit on map two. Oh, yeah. They're a bit tilted. Round two was an, uh, an anti-eco after they won the pistol. They didn't back off. They didn't show the same level of respect. Then they're running into a Judge the entire time. They looked tilted. They were going through the motions, rushing things. And Billy Billy just found moments where they were able to punish that kind of play. It doesn't matter if you're an underdog. If you find those moments and you're performing, you're going to be able to win maps Absolutely. like that. And I cannot agree more. I mean, NRG were just so tilted. They're running their heads against the A setup about, I mean, four or five <laughs> rounds in a row of just straight into a cypher, just getting eviscerated by YZ with the judge every single time, just, just running all over them. And yeah, Billy Billy, it's one thing to, to talk about upsets, right? And, you know, talk about how important it was, but they were good enough to capitalize on the mistakes that were being made by NRG. That's the important factor that we need to take away from this. Yeah, and also a lot of the other players, teams, you know, they weren't particularly kind about the VLG and some of the players. Oh, and, uh, them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they got an opportunity to clap back right after B to NRG, and this is what YZ had to say uh, here. He said, I noticed that in pre-game interview, NRG's duelist artist said he doesn't know who VLG's duelist is. Now that the match is over, I want to ask him, Brent, do you remember me? Oh, they're going to be remembering that for a long time. <laughs> they're going to be remembering that in their nightmares as yeah. well, the night after that. The way they just got absolutely ripped to pieces by YZ. I mean, it's all jokes and fun and games, but NRG do have a bit of a problem where I think that they come into a lot of these tournaments and there's a level of cockiness to it, whether it comes from the core or what. We've seen them lose, what, a, a seen them times, lose so many times. And I'm, I was watching that game back as well, Josh. I mean, I know you were as well. And I'm just seeing so many examples of just them making common mistakes that you otherwise shouldn't make. Because they were disrespecting Billy Billy. Yeah, Yeah. and well, speaking of uh, Billy Billy and YZ as well, I actually got a chance to sit down with him for a one-on-one -on -one interview. And I want you guys to listen in to one of his answers. Check this out. I wanted to ask you, is there any player in particular or team that you really want to face? Oh, uh, he said that in the past they've only ever had an opportunity to watch some of these teams that are competing here on stream. And uh, obviously this is a tournament with all of the best teams in the world coming here. And because Fnatic are actually in their group, he feels that they're going to be able to learn a lot from a team as strong as Fnatic and also improve uh, themselves as well. I mean, he got his wish, Josh. Yeah. He wanted to play against Fnatic. He's going to get a chance today. And I don't think many people would have had that. I mean, either you have Fnatic dropping down to the lower part of the groups or Billy Billy being able to beat NRG. And, and somehow it's happened. He'll get his chance. I mean, they made that happen. Uh, we've heard from a YZ, but let's hear from another member of BLG here. It is K Knight standing by with Hypoc. Thanks very much, GB. I'm going to try and grab K Knight real quick. Um, after the game versus NRG the other day, there was some uh, fairly heated words exchanged in the press conference, but in particular, I want to focus on uh, you talking about Boaster and potentially holding him in a higher regard than other IGLs here at the event. What's going to be like for you playing against him today? 
，其实在昨天战胜了 NRG 之后，其实在媒体发布会上有些讨论嘛，而且特别是感觉你好像把 Booster 放在了一个比较高的一个位置，可能说和其他的 IGL 相比，你非常的尊敬他。所以说今天要直接的面对到他，有什么样特别的感觉吗？你有什么想法？呃，因为他是一个有得有才的冠军指挥吧，所以。呃，在强大的同时，又不忘保持着强者该有的谦逊，所以我很期待这次与他们交手。我相信你们也很期待。Definitely, I must say, Boxer is a talented player, but at the same time, he's a really nice person, and also he's a champion IGL, right? So it feels like although he can have the champions, have so many titles, but at the same time, he can always maintain a very humble attitude to everyone. So I respect him a lot, and I hope I can, we can have an exciting matchup. And I believe you guys are also looking forward to that, right? Absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time, and good luck today. Uh, we do indeed. How wholesome is that? Yeah. I feel like after the trash that we've had all, uh, all tournaments so far, it is really nice to see that Fnatic and BLG, they have this kind of wholesome relationship. And speaking of Fnatic, uh, Bren, they just keep reinventing themselves and doing crazy I'm, good stuff. I'm so impressed with Fnatic actually this tournament because I think it's one thing to be at the top of your game as well and winning back-to-back -back tournaments, but it's another thing to maintain that consistency. And they're not really missing a beat. They're adding stuff to their game plan the entire yeah. time. It's been a joy to watch, I think, watching Fnatic, even though they have been beating T or they beat Zeta pretty soundly. Yeah. Well, the question is if they can go further here. Our coaches are standing by right now for map picks and bans. Fnatic, their map always deep, but an upset could happen. So let's find out where we'll be headed today. All right, let's jump straight in. Uh, Fnatic, Team A or Team B? Team B. Team B. So BLG, you'll be Team A. We'll start with your first ban. Fracture. They ban Fracture. Your ban? Pearl. Pearl. Uh, BLG, map number one. Haven. Haven. Side on Haven. It's up to you. Uh, uh, attack. Attack. OK, map number two. Yeah, look at it. Lotus. Lotus. Side on Lotus. Defense. Defense. And then next set of bands, starting with BLG, you have Ascent, Bind, and Split. Bind. Bind? Yes. Okay. And then your band, you have Ascent and Split. Ban Ascent. Ban Ascent. Map number three will be Split. BLG, side on Split. Defense. Defense. Okay, let's run back through this. First set of bands, we have BLG with Fracture, Fnatic with Pearl. Map number one is Haven with Fnatic on attack. Map number two is Lotus with BLG on defense. Next set of bands are Bind and Ascent. Decider map three will be split with BLG on defense. That's good. All right, good luck to you both. So, Josh, it is not impossible. No, it's not impossible. Oh. And, I mean, looking at Team Liquid and Billy Billy Gaming, it's about the same. So, I, I mean, it's certainly an opportunity here for something similar to happen. I think one of the big issues, though, is uh, I don't think Fnatic will have taken a day off before this one. I don't think they'll have taken a break. I think they'll be coming in here fully respecting BLG, knowing what they're doing, which is, I think, a stark difference to most of the other teams. Yeah, let's talk about the map pools here as well here. Brent, what did you make of those picks? Interesting that Fnatic opted into Lotus from the perspective of, I mean, I think it's the best map for Billy Billy. I think that was kind of proven to a degree as well with their, their matchup versus NRG. But Fnatic are, the, in my mind, the undisputed best team in the world at Lotus. 
And that's the second map we will be going to. I think they do things on that map that no other team really does. They're thinking about ways to min-max it. They're thinking about ways to, you know, really just punish teams for common yeah. setups, like with the Odin spam, for example. They're, they're so far ahead of the meta on Lotus. Yeah. They're, they're not even close to being caught up with. So I'd be amazed if BLG are able to win that. Yeah. I mean, let's talk about Haven real quick, because uh, Fnatic, they played it for the first time in a long time uh, this year. Yesterday, what did you make of that Haven? Any uh, weaknesses I, that BLG can exploit? I thought it still looked good, honestly. Like, Durka struggled a little bit with the attack side, but most of that was just getting spammed but, through, when it, you know, yeah, smokes and walls. When you think of a weak map, though, for certain teams, you oh, think it's, that yeah. it's not fleshed out, they don't have too many ideas. Fnatic still had ideas on a pistol round. They still have really good ideas of how to play the map. Yeah. Even if it is a weaker map for them that they don't like picking into and playing as much, they're still really good at it from what I'm seeing. I yeah, mean, they're I still agree. up to a level where I think a lot of teams would pick it into them and they would be really sorely disappointed with the results. Yeah. This is a David and Goliath match like you've never seen before. <laughs> I mean, Alpha Year exists, so there's the problem there that they can solve on Haven, even when they're not doing too hot. We're going to head to the Prime Gaming Agent Select shortly. Uh, Haven, again, not too funky. I feel like not a place that we've seen too much uh, funky picks. No, not expecting too many shenanigans, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I think a lot of it's going to come down to what BLG do and how they create their win conditions. You know what Fnatic are doing. We've seen them so many times at this point. But how is Billy Billy going to take a very normal composition that Fnatic played against tons of times and do something creative to create an upset. Because that's what happened against NRG. Yeah, it's very standard right now. And I, I think there was that level of disrespect in the back, back of the minds of NRG as well that, uh, that caused that upset in the first place, where they just opened themselves to opportunities. Fnatic are not the kind of team where they're going to give you many opportunities to capitalize at all. They're going to respect you, I think. They're the kind of team where they're going to put that preparation in. It's, it's difficult to catch them unaware. That's one of the biggest reasons that Fnatic is on top and staying on top. They put the hard work in against everybody. It doesn't matter who. They're not resting on their laurels. They're not assuming they're going to win games like this. They're doing the prep work and making sure that they eliminate one opponent at a time. Also, Leo versus Bianca on Sova. I can't <laughs> wait uh, to see it. The anticipation is building and our casters are geared up and ready to take us into game. Over to you, Pansy and Hypoc. Thank you so much, Sue. And the desk there, a lovely lead in for this matchup, but Let's talk realism, Mike. Let's bring it back to the world that, you know, the, the expected happens and it doesn't go beyond it. But we have seen a surprise happen, right? We, most of us, thought NRG would be in those seats. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, uh, well, I mean, as even highlighted, uh, statistically, this was one that we didn't think we were going to get, no. this matchup. Uh, what's interesting to me, uh, we, we always say this, Vito's really sure. with the map record, you don't win one versus Fnatic. No. But the chance here, at least, to kick things off on Haven, to really embrace that chaos. And uh, what's what's interesting to me, I, I think back to Fnatic's performance versus Paper X on Lotus sure. in Tokyo, where they're able to slow things down, mm. able to actually just receive or sponge some of these site hits, avoid all of that mess, yep. and actually just clean up time and time again. I think that might be key in terms of Fnatic's approach here to map one. And I, I wonder if you worry as I do. The starting interview, for example, that you are out there for kind of chatting with the Billy Billy players, say how much they respect Fnatic, how much they look up to them. Sure. Does that play in mentally here? Because they have to come out with a chaotic style to best Fnatic. And I know you and I had this conversation about actually EG matching up, saying, yeah, we respect these guys so much. They are, you know, the go-to, the, the golden to standard yeah. right now. And uh, I think there, there was a few examples of that in, in, in Tokyo, where yeah. actually EG didn't live up to what they demonstrated so far at that event. Uh, there's definitely a chance of that. I'm worried for that. Uh, yeah, I am. I, I'm scared they're going to get into their own heads. You see the names in the server. If you could remove them, it might be a different scenario. But Fnatic command that respect for a reason. Mentally, for Billy Billy to kind of remove that aspect would be a Herculean effort on its own. That would be incredibly impressive. We saw what the judge was do doing. We saw what those aggressive plays were doing. They caught out energy and then some. It wasn't just a fluke. It was consistently done. No, and what's key is, is that moment on Lotus versus NRG where you saw the penny drop. Yeah. Billy Billy just, uh, they dug deep and they just took control. And yes, you could, uh, you could argue that maybe NRG started playing a little more sloppy. Uh, sure. You know, made certain allowances for Billy Billy and that was when they capitalized. But I think we've got a demonstration of just what this team is capable of, Lauren. But can Billy Billy do it again? Taking on one giant in the form of NRG and besting them was impressive. But to do it against Fnatic would be something else entirely. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was. Yeah, all right. We've been <sighs> teased. Yeah, yeah, you know, it happens. We haven't happens. had one yet. No, we haven't. We're overdue one. 
But I guess we can kind of then further discuss who we're looking at then from that Billy Billy roster to potentially be that catalyst of chaos, right? Who can cause that amount of mayhem, get in their face? We saw a couple moments from, obviously, Bianca was a superstar. And then we saw YZ having those moments as well. Are we back on the way? There we go. Who are you looking for here? Which name from that Billy Billy roster are you going to have your eyes on to create those options? It's uh, because we're looking for Billy Billy to really disrupt what Fnatic want to achieve here on Haven. My eyes go to Wheezy. Uh, that's, uh, I think that goes without saying. Have to see just how proactive they decide to play on the defensive side. Alpha will open things up. K Knight will fall. And Actually, on this. the back of that, yeah, Fnatic already found space towards Ceylon. Yeah, Yosemite, that's not going to work out here. Maybe just get in the feel of the game. Remember that initial NRG start that Billy Billy had? It was not particularly pretty, and then they started to arrive. The walk in these smokes, Fnatic are so aware of all of those intentions, and Leo don't even need to see you. And now it's all on YZ. It's a lot to do here. This could be a very clean round, a frenzy. And a little bit of hope. Oh, it's not starting yeah. well. Forced a little deeper into spawn already. Yeah, consolation, maybe, but uh, yeah, the 1v5 here. Almost off the cards with time expiring. Oh, Leo. Good start for him as well. And a clean five alive for Fnatic. And I already like what we're seeing. That awareness of watching those smokes. How many times did we see Billy Billy just exploiting them? Constantly disrespecting those smokes, playing on through, catching one player off guard, and sometimes going terribly wrong as well. A little uh, high risk, high reward, but Fnatic were facing every single one of those smokes. There was zero chance. Oh. Barely really even getting a say in this round. Alpha with a clean opener as well, completely unscathed. No response found. I'm curious if uh, what we saw on Lotus was Billy Billy kind of. I kept talking about it. it looks as if they've got the right read on what NRG are trying to achieve and whether or not that moment, that, that kind of light bulb moment will come Ooh. once again. YZ open up onto Leo with a beautiful shot. That was clean. Okay, a little more of that. Here. Here. Taking away Leo. It's one of the pieces of the puzzle that works so well for Fnatic now. Could cause a couple more issues trying to make it cleanly towards those sites. But again, we don't have a massive purchase here for Billy Billy. There is just bits and pieces, odds and ends. A Sheriff for YZ, which has already been put to fantastic use. And the Frenzy for Rin. That's it. Beyond that, Classics. And even the Utility Kit is very light. K Knight is the only one really with it in hand. And we can see where Fnatic are folding towards, deciding to lean slowly back towards the A site. Yeah, how about he giving up, eh? I'm sure if they'll be given an audio cue here or if Bianca's just going to shoulder for some info. We'll hear at least Durka's dash. We'll get confirmation with the smoke up towards heaven as well. And there's going to be much for him to do in this scenario. Not to find a right-click spam, but nothing on the other side of that. No. Let's see how many of these weapons Fnatic get to keep. Currently holding four. Now, was there a rifle dropped? It looks like Alpha was aware of the chance of someone's there, but already utility. Alarm bot invested towards that side, so it will reveal intention. And Dirk already going to find Biang. So that was the one player towards the site, gone. And Dirk turns, spots one on the cross. That's going to be called. Second, found. Lovely. And now the others trying to do any damage they can. So far, still four of those rifles get firmly in hand. Down to three. Enemy remaining. Any more threat? No. Three rifles remain. Vandal in play and two Bulldogs. Come out and see just how fanatic life is. I mean, Dirk obviously bringing the marshal into the previous. Not even just going to run through with that. I mean, Bosa sat at 4,500 as well. Mm. I'd say, I guess, overall, Billy Billy with an advantage in terms of the weaponry. Although very slight, it's just two Bulldogs in the hands of Bosa and Alpha. We might even see a little bit of pace towards C here, so. In. This could be huge. Forced to fight and forced to fall. Durka cracks open the case. Comfortable on the way in, but there's a follow up. But again, look at the assistance, look at the support. It's a perfect system. Oh, and he's confident as hell. Three big kills, and he basically takes the side. But look at the rest of the fan Fnatic. They don't even need to follow up. Nope. They've drawn a rotation across already. Bianc confirming now that there's nothing else behind this, but why is he still positioned towards eight? Fnatic will find themselves a wide open B site here. All right, brute force confidence from Durka. Spike 
planted. And considering walking this smoke. Yeah, shut down, Alpha. Wise to it. Yeah. Wisey, this is a lot to ask of anyone. 1v4, post plant, alt there for Chronicle. Full kit of utility near on too. And slowly but surely, YZ trying to clear through, but he doesn't have the time. He's gonna have to get a bit of a move on here, and he's given no option, no quarter. Already cleared through C, they're herding around the map here. And Leo gonna force his hand, force him to show position. Can he find Chronicle? Well, yes he can. Tries to adjust for Leo in time, but speaking of time, it is going away. YZ still trying to do what he can, but a lovely readjust from Fnatic is going to make this near on impossible. Nice damage, but not enough for the round. It's clean for Fnatic as they make it to three. See, even finding another one to Alfie, he said nice damage. It's uh, the best of a bad situation for Billy Billy. What a start. One away from the Blade Storm as well. Hey, had a pin coming through on Yosemite at just the last second. Poor Dirk is considering that dash up to plant anyway. Like I said, allowances to be made. Well, we started Lotus trailing by five, trailing by six. <laughs> Dirk <Durka. laughs> obviously saw what happened the other day. He's got a judge in his hands here. Bladestorm in the back pocket, yes. Looking to maybe create a little chaos of his own. Why not? Dirk go kill, flash there, ring gonna slip ahead. That's a pretty nice Wait, idea. What? Fighting Leo and Chronicle. Dirk tries to turn on a dime, he's gone down. Billy Billy holding on to the C site this time. Quick flank on the way as well. YZ's backfilled this position. They've got the gap closed from Garage 2. So Boaster and Alpha in a very tough situation. A 2v4, far from impro impossible, but let's see if they get given a chance here. Billy Billy keep this one. In hand, K Knight very close by to being in danger, just drifting back towards sight. Richard spot the cross. And Alpha finding nothing here. They've actually got a crossfire set up in spawn as well. Fnatic almost forced to try and commit to this engagement towards C site, but K Knight and Bianc tucking in very deep here. They're giving him a lot of respect here, falling away pretty deep. But trying to force their hand towards sight. Maybe capitalize on somebody going for the spike plant. Boasted down to 37. I'm not sure. Did he get a tag with the marshal there on the, 30 seconds. the drone? That's Alpha creating space, though. Yes, the down low. The HP dwindling, but individual fights make for light work. And look who's going walkabouts in garage. Alpha, the timing. Not ideal there. Yosemite's going to catch him, leaving Boaster in a 1v2. Yosemite position noted, but does not know about the player along. Can't get there in time. And why is he? Gonna get the first here for Billy Billy. On the board with uh, what, a, a Vandal, a Bulldog, a Marshall, and oh, was it, a Stinger from yeah. Rin just running it down. Durka, I don't know if he's caught by the paranoia just as Rin crosses paths with him inside the smoke. You see, actually, here, perfect timing on the paranoia. One enemy Not spotted on the way in. Yeah, Boaster and Alpha, good shot at things to try and convert, but just too much damage done. If it was a little cleaner or maybe that kill towards CT or something you could have seen, maybe a chance at it. Not to be. Looks like a simplistic start here for Fnatic. And go that potential A site. I already see the fallback from Biang. Not wanting to stick around too aggressively. Got to be cautious here. Durka looking pretty aggressive so far. Quite confident in approach. I mean, we know the support system is exceptional for him. But now there's support on the other side too. Billy Billy drawing over two players. Yeah, and three in total. Whether or not K Knight's actually going to set something in motion here. Oh. You can see he's drifted back towards Link. Bianca and YZ going exploring. Oh, they don't clear it. In. They had no idea he was there. Alpha with the trade as well. Billy Billy going to be kicking themselves for this one. Right site, wrong time. K Knight has to fall away. Respect to the site is somewhat lost. He said he can go exploring a little, but off the back of the paranoia, can he shut down towards Zerka? No. Doug is still standing tall. Alpha with the crossfire. It's clean work for Fnatic. Slipping into full form here. Yes, losing Boaster, but revealing the grand plan. Get themselves the lockdown and the cosmic divide on the back of that round. Billy Billy, unfortunately, back in a position where they can't really afford to invest much here. Bladestorm available, yes. One away from their own lockdown. It'll be a rifle in the hands of Yosemite. Well, this was the turning point, wasn't it, really, it, in that first game? Yeah, we got to round six. Like I said, it was a 5-0 lead for NRG. 
Billy Billy came out. And uh, like I said, I'd, I'd love to be able to look back at that and say, yeah, they got a really good grasp on what was going on around the map. And whether or not we see that same adjustment here versus Fnatic. Well, that's the question, isn't it? Can you... I, 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 the one thing with Fnatic is, uh, and, and credit will always be given for them, is that they have so much depth to where they play. But for Billy, Billy, this this has to be the turning point because currently sitting with only that one round drawn in their favor, that that one round they were able to carve into the board, respectable of course in the way they did it, but but that's the sort of success. Uh, yeah, and that's the sort of round that we saw them really take control is, is where they're willing to be very proactive. I mean, we talked about they were absolutely dominated in terms of the first bloods yes, on were. Lotus, but time and time again they were able to either find a favorable trade or even go two for one after conceding a first blood, yep. and then kind of snowball rounds. So whether or not we see that step change here coming out of the timeout or even this early on in the half, and we are halfway through it. Yeah, the, if Billy the, Billy can try and capitalize on that, but I mean, how do you rock the default of Fnatic? Oh, isn't that a question? Almost all of the teams here would love to be able to answer, but it is so difficult. Can it happen again? I was in the water in those timeouts, God only knows. But Billy Billy, if you turn it around now, it would be magnificent. Let's find out. Back in we go. A loud start here for Fnatic, taking no prisoners to be angry once again under so much scrutiny early on. Having to respect this, the ult not going to be challenged. Oh, nothing to remove this. Uh, and look at the mini look map at Long, here. Look at Simon. Yeah. Boaster's actually going to catch the flank coming through here, oh, waiting dear. to see if there's somebody else. It's only Yosemite, and the execution comes through. Owen oh, Rin's been noted as well. The system working in perfect order for Fnatic. It's flawless. It is absolutely flawless. A prime gaming flawless, that is. And it's not the first one this game yet. Fnatic not being rocked at all. The flank being watched. I loved how dedicated Boaster was towards that. Half the round, he was sat there waiting, knowing I mean, it's possibility. A, it's a great read. You're almost anticipating this proactivity to come out after the timeout. So even the confirmation here to see, actually, yeah, have they taken space in mid? Have they drifted out of garage? There's only one coming down C long. Where's the pinch coming through? So it happens, Rin, the second layer to that one in mid. But he's identified by the alarm bot. Uh, and you're asking for a response here in round seven in this buy it. round from Billy Billy. An early divide indicating... Aggression down long, Mike. Uh, very deep this time, but there's an alarm bot inside that smoke. The divide has pulled out the lockdown already. There's just so much paranoia. This hit the mid. panic button. What a bizarre brawl. We're going to have a chronicle with sheer control. Why is he in K9 on the floor? Boaster was blind, but the support! You don't get a single fight against Fnatic like that. This disruptive play, the call off NRG, is not working here. But Fnatic beta out of Billy Billy here. The, the immediate cosmic divide. The lockdown goes in. They try and find space elsewhere to backfill this execute. And, and there's three, four members of Fnatic waiting. And now it's just Bianc. Runs himself in a 1v5. This could be an incredibly one-sided affair if Billy Billy can't get a grip on this. And by all rights, I think the desk was certainly discussing and kind of saying and highlighting, and I think we're seeing it in very practical form, how prepared Fnatic are, planted. even against underdogs. The mentality is, is just crystal clear. Very hard to shake this team or find those faults. I was hoping that maybe Billy Billy could create that chaos to force them into those situations. But this round just demonstrates, that, I mean, they have their finger on the pulse of this yes, game. Absolutely. A perfect understanding of exactly what Billy Billy wants to do. Bianca to getting hunted down here. Going to be potentially pinched by Alpha on the other side, but it's Durka to find it. Another prime gaming flawless uh, for Fnatic. That song is going to be playing a whole lot this yeah, game. Yeah, you're going to get like. sick of it. Oh, wow. I, I'm a little worried for Billy Billy here. The way that Fnatic have been manhandling them around the map is not giving them much room to breathe. I, I don't know how you're meant to break this because... Uh, this is a key yeah. indicator here as well on the replay. The fact the spikes just left there. Yep. This is the plan from the get-go in this round from Fnatic. And it just makes you feel absolutely spot on. Yeah, it? Billy Billy just feed into it. And it, it's, it's not as if they've made the wrong decision. No. It's Fnatic just working the mind games perfectly. Yeah, between Boaster and Mini, certainly getting fantastic reads. A little bit of a different look here. Two left towards defending middle in case there was that aggression here. That's going to be Alpha mostly on duty and Durka go and walk in. No confirmation of attendance, but contact made towards middle. 
And Dirk has controlled the site. He might get a little bit of a challenge through CT. Yes, we could see Biang there, but they're showing a little bit of patience, maybe trying to feel out where this Billy Billy site is, and it's all on the back line. Dirk has fallen out for overwhelm. Okay. Finally a chance here. Not just Fury pop, but no commitment to the spike plant. We have 70 coming in perfectly timed through Garage. This is the first big advantage they've had in a minute, but Leo's still standing as his poster. Challenger found, dead. Follow up, maybe. Leo prowling. Spikes down on the site and they pause. 50 seconds. They've got plenty of time to play with. I have the spike. Poster going to collect that spike. Now, what do they do with this? Continue along the path towards C? Do they adjust, walk into the unknown? You could play Leo in here. He does have the Hunter's okay. Fury, so find an open plant for long, especially on the back of that recon. Supportive utility coming through from Leo. Yosemite. He has a lick of life there. All the timing is obscene! Yosemite's found it! That's out of this world from him. Boaster's in danger. Yes, stunned up. He's just trying to cower for a second or two, allow himself to come out of this. Maybe find a fair fight. Spots one, gets him, spotted the second. He knows one's along. He knows where both of these players are. This is very doable. Boaster, the 1v1 now. Down to 46, but a potential. And he's read it. He's read it so damn well! And this is the problem versus Fnatic. You can find three kills, but there's another two players to worry about every single time. Doesn't matter who you kill here. Nope. Everybody can clutch up on this team. I mean, this is an outrageous kill wow. to find that. It's not often Leo misses. Nope. Three HP on Yosemite. One enemy. Oh, the reads, lovely. Yeah. Beautiful stuff from Boaster. What a game from him as well. His calling's been on point. I mean, FNS and Chet struggled with this team quite genuinely. Now, obviously, Fnatic have had the benefit of being able to watch, right? Sit back and see someone else having to deal with it. They've come in absolutely prepared. And an individual performance from Boaster that's actually very impressive. And Turk, uh, I mean, give him a chance. Oh, God. Yeah, it's becoming a bit of a slaughter now. An early two-man advantage here. Fnatic. Okay. That response comes through, though. Bianc and YZ both finding kills. That's lovely. They've lost the sight, and Chronicle's going back to check. They're so aware of this kind of re-approach that Billy Billy loves. They'll double down on everything. Alt invested. K Knight trying to maybe close in on this one. That judge going to be swapped out for here. Vandal locked in. Not going to happen. Fnatic not letting this go, Mike. It's another example of just a, a, a slight overinvestment, maybe a, I don't know, a, a, a tilt ult or yeah. just hitting the panic button it in general. Like it. Really testing the recovery factor now, the resilience of a team that said they came here to learn. And unfortunately, when a team anti strategy like this or, or just adjusts the way that they approach, you don't learn an awful lot. No, it's, it's so oppressive to play against Fnatic like this because all of the things that are working so well just you know, a day or two ago, suddenly aren't, aren't there in your wheelhouse anymore. So this is when the question of depth comes in and we kind of discussed through that. And we know that Billy Billy will probably not have that international depth yet to be able to lean back on and find those further adjustments, or at least we haven't seen that yet. Now, whether or not they can maybe pick up the pace here a little bit, find you. something for themselves. Once again, calling in for support. Bianc on an island now has two with him. And Fnatic waiting on the other side. Challenge? Accepted. YZ takes away Alpha. It was a dry fight there. Well, nobody else from Fnatic actually spotted yet, but it doesn't necessarily look like a, a big indication with Billy Billy adjusting on the back of that. It's everyone but Yosemite here, basically. Smokes will be the confirmation behind that. And a couple of bits of key utility oh, elsewhere. Here comes the big ult. There's two on the site. They are very much in danger here. Bosa trying to shut it down. He's done it. Finds one, but traded out. Beautiful entry work, but a beautiful hold back. Billy, Billy, finally digging the heels in. A little bit of fight left in them yet. Second on the board. Talked about even recovering a, a half to, I, I believe, 8-4 versus NRG. That was their way back into the game. And it will feel like nothing short of a miracle once again to do yeah. the same versus Fnatic. A beautiful sight here. Is, I mean, Boaster oh, finds wow. a ridiculous kill through that smoke, but combination of the Rolling Thunder and the Gravity Well intended to keep somebody in there. But Billy Billy find all the responses necessary. And 
There's a four-man stack here on C. Just anticipating Fnatic exploring elsewhere on the map this time around. But first time we've really seen them commit to an early default. Yeah. I mean, besides Durka and Sua, but... This is very interesting. It's Alpha who's probably creating the most amount of attention. The fact finder as well, yeah. Furthest forward. Spike not committed just yet. Ooh, YZ backfilling that space as well with the knives out. And it's going to be Leo. He just invested the Aldra and that could encourage YZ and it does. Takes away Leo instantaneously. Back in for seconds only with that classic now headshot. Yes, but not enough to really dissuade Alpha. What are you meant to do now? This time we've seen YZ really actually push forwards. Rewarded, but traded out. It's fanatic. Still got two committed towards A. They're going to try and fake out with some of these smokes here. Bianks going to be within earshot. Problem being, there's still three members of Billy Billy that have to rotate past B site. Yeah, and if Fnatic opt to plant there. Yeah, and look how far Dirk has got, though. This has oh, yeah. to be a call from him, and Yosemite's going to catch Alpha. But they don't note that both are still in middle. Wait, the, the, wait, hold on. He's decided now's the time. Okay, Lockdown's going to come in, but it's Boaster behind the lines. He's got a real opportunity here. And Chronicle can cause the problems. He can just slip away. He can fall away from this one. He doesn't need to stick around. He's drawn their attention with 11 seconds. There's going to be a plant towards C. Left. And a divide available for Boaster. Oh, wow. K Knight still with full utility. Yosemite alongside him, but a lot of time will pass by the time Billy Billy even get close to C site. And the paranoia is there that somebody's unnoted. Just going to slip away towards long. Here we go. You are divided. There's the divide you were discussing. Utility on the site. This becomes difficult. K Knight going to work through first. Finds nothing on the first steps. Sees a fight. Tap on the spike will at least draw the attention. It's only Chronicle showing so far. Boaster keeping the cards close to the chest. But he's now noted at least two of the players here. Yosemite digs out Chronicle. It's down to Boaster. He's got to be clean about it. He is. K9 tried to stand on that. Diffused through. And Boaster didn't allow it. Demonstrating composure there for another Red Bull clutch from Boaster. Top in the board for Fnatic at 14 and 4. And the puppet master behind so many things we're seeing here. But also the last line of defense, Lauren. And we are seeing him elevate as an individual. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little Red Bull clutch there for himself. So those two rounds looking very lonely on the board for Billy Billy. And aggression seems to be the answer again. An ambitious spray. As Durka going to be called in. This is a fight and a half. Rin connects well, but Durka looking above. See if he can maybe catch Rin on the way back through. Tag, yes. But this is a bloody brawl in middle now. The spikes here, so Fnatic want to try and what? retake this space. Yosemite with the fadeaway onto Durka. Huge snap to Durka there. And it's not without follow up. Billy Billy want a bit more. Out for blood, bloodthirsty. Noting the spike, and they ain't going to leave it alone. Which is going to be called back here. He needs to use some of this utility to help his players out. Chronicle's gone down a little too far. Tries to take on Leo and Bosa. Now in support and Fnatic hold this back line. It's Bianca and Yosemite left alive in a 2v2. But Bosa, the clutch king himself as of late. But Bianca's timing is going to be foul to deal with. Probably being as well. Yeah, Leo down to 40 HP, Lauren. Well, Spectre timing. in hand. Yosemite going to draw the attention, and now they turn back. He's seen the barrel from Boaster, so he's got a great understanding for the timing now. Can Boaster clutch again? He absolutely can. Double digits in the first half for Fnatic. An absolute masterclass on show here, and unfortunately, Billy Billy just unable to get anything really going. They're finding zero comfort in this first half on Haven, Lauren. And we're going to need to see a Herculean effort to recover this in the second. This is going to take a lot from Billy Billy to even pull this one close. Fnatic have turned up today with all the answers that NRG simply did not have. A minute, he's just like, well, Boaster's winning every round. Don't have to go for the strap poster. Uh, Durka, go kill. So let's hand it back to the desk, see how they're feeling about this one.
Oh, thank you very much. Minnie always is striving. Why is never happy? Why is he's he never happy? striving for just perfection. Like, it's he is. It's scribbling yeah. too. So scribbling uh, do, you know, do you know who has been pretty happy, though? Both side of BLG and Fnatic yeah. at this tournament. Uh, we mentioned it, you know. Some of the other teams and players maybe have been uh, saying some trash talk towards the Chinese teams, but not Fnatic. They've been embracing the friendship. Uh, if we check out this exchange between Boaster and K Knight as well. On Billy Billy, uh, by the way. Uh, basically, <laughs> Boaster posted some uh, cute Polaroids that they took on the first day of the event when they came here. Bren, it just makes you feel warm and fuzzy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, the Boaster buff got them the first win. Don't think it's going to get them a win on the second <laughs> no, game, though. No, I don't think so. The Boaster buff doesn't work against Boaster. Yeah, it doesn't I don't work that's, against Boaster. That's the issue, especially when he's clutching like that. But I, I really feel like Look the way at that, that, that though, sorry, that's so, so sweet. cute. They're making a heart. Yeah, so Durka and YZ. I mean, that that's. That's also one of the reasons, though, that I feel like Fnatic are approaching this match in a way where it's just dismantling Billy Billy because they're so aware of them. They, they know them, they've seen their games, they, they like respect them as a team, they have met them as people. Uh, they're, they're very ingrained in the Chinese scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think you're seeing that kind of in the rounds where Billy Billy have advantages, but they're not really pressing it. They're willing to give Fnatic yeah. a lot of space in these instances. I want to see Billy Billy, if they want a serious shot at this, just start throwing everything at the wall, disrespect them, Maybe don't start shooting bodies. I'm not going to go that far. But <laughs> listen, you got to start, wholesome match start, up, start wholesome. swinging like you can actually win these gun duels. And you're seeing yeah. some instances of that towards the end of that first half. I want to see that continue because that's what you need to do to take it to a team like Fnatic. Well, this will be a crazy comeback if they can do it. But Pansy and Hyper, what do you think? Can they do it? <laughs> Um, we'll note those laughs as offense yeah. that was just caught there at the I very heard end. Sideshow. Yeah, we all heard it. We all heard it. Uh, it's two rounds, right? Do we... Uh, I don't think we can sell you this one. I, I think we have to be very realistic. Um, well, it starts with a pistol round, Mike. It all starts with a pistol. It all as we starts. always say. <laughs> <laughs> like Alpha's going to be Oof. the one to try and slow things down here. Stumble, catch him. I think YZ mm. spotted him on the dash, though. Mm, someone's going to check on Alpha, right? Someone's... Okay. Alpha's buying the time. Look at the stall work coming out it's again. Just so much utility. Layers. That splits YZ, leaves him on an island. Now, luckily for Billy Billy, I guess, the backline wasn't tr truly tested. Durka was taking his time about it. Um, so no one's there on the flank just yet. But again, Durka is in sewer, so he will eventually see this if they come back around. Now, it looks like a double pump. So we'll have to wait and see. So one player towards long. We know there's additional bodies, so Bianc much closer as is Rin, and Alpha's back in his corner. He's just not moved. Nope. <laughs> he won't be there again. Oh. Nope. They found him this time. Good clear on Alpha. And they actually check on Durka, but he has yeah. succeeded in that fight. So the back line is now looking vulnerable. They have to move forward. So that's the kill they needed, really, onto Durka to plant the seed of doubt. I mean, the offshot could do a ton of damage here, but Chronicle's oh, got to be Durk. careful himself. Great timing to play back through that smoke Blast off of Chronicle's utility on the site. That's a little bit beyond necessity as Bianca started kicking to gear. A 2v2, but look at the Dandy. HP, it's so low. And now with Durka here, this is rough for K-Knight. Oh dear, dear. Be the shock dart. Be the sheriff. I mean, it came down to a 1v1 in the end of things. Fnatic looked like they were going to clean that up much earlier on, but an 11th on the board regardless. Billy Billy faced with a dilemma here. Mm. What do you invest? <laughs> do you try and cling to the hope of Fnatic still needing one more? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Seeing a couple of sheriffs come through. Yeah, frenzies. Heard they're good. Yeah, I hit a great versus Paul. Will be their nightmare. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We go again. Ah, Billy, Billy. This is tough to watch, honestly. Fnatic are really in control of this game, and Alpha once again in his corner. And hello, this time he's going to take <laughs> one with him. Why is he going to fall first? Chronicle then going to fill the space behind just in case someone else slipped through. As we can see by the utility pour towards B, no one could. But it's a split towards C, through towards Garage. Chronicle very much prepared for that. Yeah, I was going to say, ready with a fault line that Ooh. at some point would have caught three. Might even be here on the back of Boaster's contact, but he should farm with the Marshal here. Spike oh, down. Zemity actually Good trying trade. to response. Alpha just likes a corner. That's all he wants. He wants to sit in his little corner and have a lovely day. And Leo will take them through the round. It's 12 for Fnatic. And this one not looking like the upset point that we had in Billy Billy's previous game. Come back in here with the purchase, but uh, I mean, no real progress that's going to come online in terms of ultimates. Here in round 15, three off the Rolling Thunder, three off the Hunter's Fury short.
Yeah. See a couple of kills, maybe. Fnatic, one SMG, rifles elsewhere. Bulldog in the hands of Leo. And a chance to close things out. Bit of a flash in the pan if it ends here. Yeah. I guess the learning to take away, better to rip the Band-Aid off. Mm -hmm. But is there map pick, Lauren? That's the, the horrific part, isn't it? And, and we've yeah. talked about it before, though. It's very hard to get advantages against Fnatic, even in vetoes. They, they are a very well-rounded team. Durka just wants a challenge. Stuck around so long, Leo did lean up towards long too. Durka just nodding on the player so, guys. So, yeah, yes. all right then, yeah. <laughs> Maybe another round of play. But then again, if both are still alive, I mean, this is... I mean, Chronicle gets the upgrade. That's the, the other issue now. Yeah, spreads the wealth a little. What's this for Boaster? Boaster expo... Huh? 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 Okay. Legal. <laughs> There's going to be a replay there's some on new that. Tech there. There's some tech coming out. Okay. Huh. We'll call it a spec bug. Call it what you want. Alpha has held them all back. And YZ in a very uphill struggle. A 1v2 is not impossible for this man, though. We saw him doing wonders, but you can see him being harassed and hounded. Fnatic, Neron, faultless through map one. Haven, not their map, but made it their own. Said, if you're Billy Billy, looking for lessons to learn here in Los Angeles, get that one out of the way as quickly as possible. Yeah. The best of three, sure, Lotus. We saw a demonstration the other day versus NRG, but they're going to have to bring their A game in map two. Well, this is now an uphill struggle. We look towards the rest of the maps. Is there any weakness in Fnatic? That's what we'll wait to find out.